couple of weeks back I have made a video about how authenticity will help you out in your social media journey or content creation journey in general and how it will make it more profitable and enjoyable because both of those things are important but most of you have talked in the comments about how influencer marketing is both good and bad thing so in today's video I want to talk about what I personally despise in influencer marketing and I will go after both sides of the fence and I think this is a really important thing to go after because we're gonna talk both influencers and the brands and there's a lot to unpack here so if you are interested interested in social media creation, UGC or just personal brand building or how the YouTube works, this is a video for you and I'm gonna go after everyone right now. Number one, everyone wants to be an influencer and the brands are exploiting that fact. I cannot even count how many times a brand is contacting me and say that in exchange for a free product, I will have to do some type of a content. And sometimes those requirements are extremely, extremely expensive. Now you may say, well, it's not a bad deal, but it is a bad deal. And I will tell you why I think no one should ever, never ever agree on anything like this unless you have a real benefit out of it. Let me tell you. And since we're on the topic of gear, even if I just used my laptop camera and microphone without the lights here without the fact that i need to you know pay for the space in here desk whatever it would be already around nine thousand euros just for the laptop camera and the microphone alone now this is the gear only so if i want to make my youtube videos better i will need more gear such as the lights the nice studio things like this how am i supposed to pay for them with free products now next time equals money if you have to work on scripting recording editing and things like this this is obviously not making much sense because you need to make a living pay your bills however much you would usually be paid per hour at your work this this should kind of like even out you know what i'm saying right and most of the time whenever they say free product the requirements for the free product are much more than the free products worth so basically you're not getting a free product you are actually paying for the product and then you pay on top of it even more now this is different for my channel i personally have an editor a person that actually does the editing for me so i can focus on other sides of my business that actually give me more money now this means that whenever i am getting a free product i'm also paying extra for my editor because i do need to pay her result company gets all of those benefits for giving me a free product and the exposure is it worth it in 90 percent of the cases the answer is no i will still agree on such an exchange if this is actually beneficial for me when i do the math for myself such as if i get a microphone i can actually use it later if i actually like it or if i get uh, a car rental for two weeks for free this is actually something that does benefit me so i can kind of make it you know happen in my math number two the mentioned in the previous video greed some of the people as i mentioned in my last video again are just greedy okay like let's let's just face it we're just people kind of fine instead of taking care of their community they do lie to their community and that's the part of the problem that is ruining this entire thing for everyone else if people trust the creators and therefore buy the product and the product turns out to be not anything that the influencer said we are losing the trust that is connecting those two things meaning that with time influencer marketing will absolutely die because no one will trust the influencer so the brand doesn't have have to pay the influencer to make a video about a thing this literally means that the greedy influencers influencers that are doing things like this and lie to their community are digging their own graves and the graves for everyone else i also do get a lot of emails that ask me for the collaboration in exchange for a positive review whenever i see that a company is writing we will give you this this and that and pay you this much money for a positive review i'm saying i am sorry but either you are getting my real review or you are not getting anything at all because i'm not going to lie to you or to my audience in general because of getting 200 bucks like please 
And if you are interested in how it actually works, I do have a couple of reviews on my second channel in which I'm actually saying that some of the products are not good. I once got sent a soldering iron that I was testing and while I was doing the video, it actually exploded and stopped working and I kept this for the video. Like it stays there. This is what I got. This is how it worked. This is how it didn't work. I have a couple of uh, other reviews in which I'm saying that something is not good. And this is how I actually build trust. I got it as a free exchange of a product and affiliate link, which is also like, I don't say yes to this much, not often, okay? Uh, but still, they were negative reviews, they stay there and there is nothing else you can do about it. I mean, if every review on the channel is absolutely positive, that's kind of suspicious, isn't it? Number three, the lack of 80-20 or 90-10 rule. I truly believe that 80 or 90% of the content should be free, educational, given any type of value to an audience. Now, 10% or 20% can be advertisement, can be sponsored content, can be sponsored content that is also giving you a lot of value. So like 80% of the video is a lot of value and then 20% is like sponsored, like this video is sponsored by, fine. I'm fine with this, but if I see only sponsored stuff on the channel, I see that someone is doing it just for money and this does not make me believe the person that they are actually genuinely want to share any type of knowledge with me, okay? Like, it doesn't work. If you look at Instagram or Facebook, every fourth or sixth post is sponsored, okay? So they know that they need to do the 80-20 or 90-10 because otherwise, if you get just the ads all the time, you will not be on Facebook or Instagram or anywhere, okay? Like, let's not talk about the fact that just Instagram suggests to you people that you don't want to watch, okay? Like, let, let's just skip this point. But the ads themselves. And the same idea should go to your content. So yes, I do have a lot of educational content on both of my channels and every once in a while I will mention, hey, by the way, I do have this course. So for example, I do have a course called FPV Academy, which is teaching people everything about FPV drones, from how to build one, how to choose your parts, how to choose your drone, into flying, loss, and things like this. And I am actually sharing a a lot of information about those topics for free. I have a whole video series called Train Insane on which I'm sharing the tutorials on how to fly your FPV drone. Now on the course I have those videos even more detailed and I do on my YouTube share information that if you want more detailed videos they are available on my course but most of the information that you are getting from me is still free and available. It's not that I'm just coming in like so you want to learn how to fly slalom? Buy my course. The end. It's not going to happen like this. You need to know that I know how to teach you how to do certain things. The same goes with my Dream Life University on which I'm teaching people how to live their 9 to 5, how to build business out of what they love doing and it's not necessarily being a YouTuber creator or whatever. You can be whatever else and we are on the course kind of getting into what you are good at and what you like doing and just making you build a business around the things that you like doing and this is something that I'm promoting obviously like in this video as well as an example and I'm gonna give you of course the links to both courses down below yes they are there but I'm not going to talk about those courses all the time non-stop like this is actually put here as an example at the end of the day you need to kind of realize that as a content creator you are supposed to create okay Number four, working for exposure. Some of the companies take the creator's content or want creator to make content for an exposure. And while some of the exposure is obviously good, it should still be paid for in any way, shape or form. If it's not something that really benefits me and gives me, I don't know, 10,000 followers, it's not really an exposure if it doesn't give me anything. It's just you stealing my art. That, that's it. While some of the opportunities, as I mentioned, are once in a lifetime, yes, the other ones, most of them, 90% of them, are not really once in a lifetime opportunities. And this is ruining the market for everyone who actually wants to make a living out of content creation. Because if everyone does everything for exposure, what is the point of finding creators that will do it for money and need to be paid because they have bills to pay, gear to buy, or their employees to pay? What's the point if I don't have to? So this is ruining the entire market for absolutely everyone everyone else and this is creating a huge huge problem which is also beneficial again for the huge corporations and companies. 
I said it. Yes, affiliate marketing is great, but you cannot really assume or be sure that someone will buy thing through your affiliate link. Whenever like Insta360 gives me an affiliate link, I do have it, it's fine. But I am absolutely sure that someone else will buy this camera through Amazon or any other store in which they can get it much faster than through my affiliate link obviously because they are maybe in a different country because maybe they want to have it as fast as possible it's just not happening from my affiliate link even though i have it so this is the general idea there companies really exploit all of this situation as long as they can and they will be doing it until influencer marketing is gone and makes no more benefits for them and we don't want this to happen do we especially considering that youtube does not pay much to people if you are interested in how much youtube paid me with 26,000 subscribers on my big channel and this small channel here is a video for this i actually made it not so long ago to be fair, influencer marketing is still somewhat an uncontrolled chaos. But it's up to us creators to actually make it a thing. If every single one of us is treating ourselves with love and respect that we deserve for all of the our work that we are doing, then maybe it's going to start getting better. Do not agree for most of the free product things or free product plus affiliate link. Always charge some type of a fee because you have to pay those bills. You have to buy this new gear. And I know that this is for a lot of us a side hustle only, but there is a lot of people for whom this is the only job and we need to make money somehow. And it's not coming from YouTube itself. Food for thought just saying if you want to learn how i am landing high paying brand deals check out the video just right here i am teaching you absolutely everything you need to know in basic way actually uh, on how to make it happen for yourself so check it out pretty nice i liked it so maybe helpful for you bye